All right, we're, we're quickly going to go over the installation of the alarm on the oil yeller tray. Um, I mean, this is pretty easy stuff, guys. There's nothing much to it. What you got is a little angle, kind of a bracket that you screw onto the side of the tray. It's just two screws. They come with some self-tappers. There's not much to it at all. Line it up. Screw it on. Now, mind you, you should have a pretty decent screwdriver, not one of these cheap quick picks. But uh, Sean Hiscock from the Oil Heat Systems Technician Program provided me with some really good stuff. That's my personal screwdriver, by the way. Put it this way, it's so easy even I can do it. Now, you take the alarm, how this alarm works is very basic. You've got the alarm, you put the battery in it, there's a float type mechanism here. If the fuel level in the tray rises, the float floats up, there's your audible alarm. Now that's going to beep continuously every 10 seconds, enough to drive anybody completely insane. There's no way you're going to miss this. You're going to be hearing this beeping in the basement, it's going to draw attention to it before this tray overfills. And that's the whole idea. Little leaks, you're quickly alarmed, you're quickly alerted to them. I can't even stand that right now. It's going to take a matter of uh, seconds to install. It's just that easy. Nothing to it. So now we have the audible alarm installed. If there's ever a release of fuel, the tray begins to fill up. That alarm floats. Somebody in the building is alerted to a fuel leak before it uh, causes any real harm. Piece of cake. Now we will quickly look at another type of application if you want to pan over this way for a second. Here we've got another L tray shaped tray installed. We've got it underneath the burner. Once again, the burner is completely fully contained. Any drips that come from that burner or the fuel pump will land in the tray. All the fittings that are close to it will land in the tray. And we've also got the, the uh, relief valve piped down over the tray. Periodically those relief valves can drip, put a little bit of water down. Um, the, you know, water can be quite a mess in the house also. If you've got one of the alarms on this tray, relief valve opens and you've got water in there, that's once again going to alarm you before the water starts to get out underneath subfloors, um, cause things like mold, mildew. Uh, obviously, if uh, something's going to open up on a, on a relatively regular basis, you want to know about it. So that's another great application. And once again, you could also move your filter over to this location at the burner and kill another bird with the same stone. Nothing to it. Uh, the only other thing we could do, uh, you know, to make it even better, would be to hook this system into a, a household alarm. 